Now he tried to purify the utensil. Utensils are all clean, but for the tea ceremony, we have to purify to ready to use it. The one he just purified was the tea caddy, the green tea powder in it. And then now chachaku, the tea scoop made by bamboo. And this one whiskers. If you need the brochure, you handed out one. That will show you step by step. Futaoki, futaoki. <coughs> Tea powder originally came from China about 10 centuries ago that the priest brought, then priest brought from China. And then I think even that time I had already tea scoop, not bamboo, they used uh, ivory tea. And then whiskers is the same, and the deeper probably the same. Otherwise, uh, almost same. We had a, a basic a tea ceremony utensil came from China, but Chinese, uh, they forgot or they never used up like we did, developed more uh, based on Japanese culture and developed the Japanese way to do the tea ceremony. That was a really, really developed world about 15 centuries in Japan. And since then, we have been practicing. And this is one of the tea ceremonies, only the last part. And then usually we do in tatami room, tatami mat room, but this is only for modernized sitting. Uh, the guest, you should prepare to eat sweet before you drink green tea, please. We usually uh, put the green powder tea in tea bowl, one and a half spoon. One full of green powder, and the next one will be half not two more for the, this one we call thin tea. We have a thick tea, but this one is thin tea, more like latte-like taste. When you receive a tea ball, you turn clockwise twice, then you drink it.
first keyboards designed came from middle of Japan, we call the area district Nara. That picture on the ball is very particular for that area's keyboard. It's a modern look like a human being, but it wasn't modern for many centuries. We used to do that. Oh, you see? This tea caddy we call a uh, natsume, and then this shape is more like a drum, like Japanese drum, taiko. This tea ball has a, the design is a family crest design. So this family crest is more like a daimyo, very famous daimyo family's crest is around the tea ball design. Very special tea ball. And this water jar we call sakin bukuro is more like a gold powder uh, pouch design. And then the, all the design present for the money or lucky, mm -hmm. something like that. Tea ceremony, we go by the season. Right now is the springtime, then May 5th is the boys' day, that's why we are hanging a carp. Carp is a boys' day fish. You see uh, lots of Japanese pictures probably showing in May. And that's why even in tea room, we decorate the flower, just a little bit of flower touch of season. So I put a little bit of a touch of season flower there behind the host. And usually tea, tea room, we have some kind of scroll. But this uh, modern setting, we don't use scroll, but handwriting uh, found there. The, Character is buji kore kirin means the kinin kirin is a very uh not hong <laughs> eh kinin showing a kinin no no <laughs> that's no that's why is showing step by step making green tea yeah. Probably how to drink there too. Twice, clockwise, turn, clockwise. That's counterclockwise. Clockwise, yes. Yes. Then you drink. Sometimes people say three zip. So usually for tea room has, just like your party, you have to have a theme, right? What kind of party? So if, for instance, boys' day, then you decorate anything you tend to relate to boys' days. So we decorated.
And this uh, setting we call misonodana. It's very uh, modernized. Uh, this is rakaware stand. So a little bit not easy to make it. And then when we finish the holding, everything be flat. I can put it in the box. But so that's why I could bring to here, otherwise too difficult to do it. And then we call Misonodana. Misono, Misono means the emperor's garden. Originally, they made it for emperor's garden parties for stand of this. But now we are using. Now after he's closing, and then now after we finish, you could go three area, each one of them have a cup of tea, so, and sweets. So we are gonna make for each one of you. So do not be not drinking. 